Hey everybody, how's it going out there? It's Tuesday, August 4th. Not my normal Facebook time, Facebook Live time, but it's the new holiday catalog kickoff, so I thought we had to get together and celebrate today. So hopefully you guys will find me. Um, I know this isn't my normal time, so even if you don't watch live, that is okay. Watching in the replay is just as good. I'm gonna share this over um, to my page. Uh, all right, well, maybe I won't, I don't know. <sighs> How are you guys doing? Hey, Lisa, have you guys looked at the new website? It's totally different. It is totally, totally different. I, uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, that's for sure. I, uh, I like it, but, um, everything is not where it used to be. So it's gonna take a while for us to get used to it. All right, so on my end, it looks like I'm super glitchy. Can you guys see me? This is what I'm seeing. Glitch, glitch, glitch. Uh-oh. My daughter has a Zoom for school for orchestra right now, so she's using the internet, and I'm sure the other one is too. That's super weird. All right, I'm gonna wait and make sure that you guys can see and hear me. Susan says the website is awesome, good. Okay, Trisha, I seem fine. All right, weird. I don't like that, that's just, that is very odd. Let's see, oh, come on, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I may not be able to see comments today, let's see. Let's try one more time, and then we will, okay, there, now I can see, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so today, um, earlier, I posted a link to the PDF. If you haven't gotten your hard copy yet, you can go look at it um, as a PDF. I know um, sometimes looking at a PDF isn't the same, but it's better than if you don't have it. And also, um, if you just go to stampinup.com, all the products are, are up on the store now too, so you can see them. And you can um, spend some time looking at our new store website, which is, um, which is awesome, it's beautiful, it's very, uh, very different. So anyway, all right, so I thought we would just take a little walk through the catalog. I'm gonna show you paper and ribbon shares, and then we're gonna make that little coffee cup caddy that I posted a picture. Um, Danielle, you're not seeing anything different on stampinup.com? You gotta check it out, the customer side, not the demo side, the customer side. It's very, very different. All right, I think I'm gonna flip you guys around. Let me make some room here. Let's see, cover you up. Patty, you're under your desk. Are you having a tornado warning, Patty? I hope not. That is scary. Oklahoma, that is how it goes there. I guess you never get used to it though, don't do you? All right. All right, first of all, hey, you know what? How about some prizes? I have two of these um, to give away. I will pick a winner on Friday, two people who share the video, and I will give these away. These are brand new, red rubber, um, cling mount, and they coordinate with the new punch, um, but as you can see, they can be used without the punch, obviously, too, because it's a tag punch. Um, <laughs> who just asked me about Diet Coke? Um, Diet Coke, that's funny, Cindy. Um, so, um, if you share on Facebook, I'll enter you in a drawing for the new, two new stamp sets. And I ordered more stamp sets today. Um, hopefully I will have them by Friday to give away on Friday's Facebook Live. Okay, so if you guys have your catalog, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time doing this, um, but I thought we would just kind of walk through it. Um, it is similar to uh, the spring catalog and the way that it opens sideways like this. It's very, very pretty. Um, right at the front, you've got the kits. There's new kits. And you guys, okay, I'm gonna be up front with you. It's August and I've had a hard time getting in the groove with a holiday catalog. <laughs> I love it, um, but I'm, I'm just mentally, I'm having a hard time getting there. So I haven't studied the catalog like I normally do, which is weird. And usually I have my product shares up and ready even before the catalog goes live. I didn't do that this time. It is taking 
a lot in me to get my brain right with this. I just can't, I, for some reason, the, the change in our schedule this year with the catalog has just thrown me for a loop. But anyways, we've got new, um, new kits, right? And you'll have to look to see like this one includes the stamp set and then this one does not. So you have to get the kit and the stamp set. Move my stamps out of the way over there. Um, this you might recognize from last year. This was very, very popular last year and I'm very excited to see it come back. Um, and you'll notice here, last year people were taking, um, we're taking the backs of the drawers and decorating them for other holidays. And they've got photos of that here too, which is really, really cool. Um, here is the Most Wonderful Time product medley. And I'm glad they brought this back because I got it last year. And when we were in Greece, it was one of those giveaways that they um, uh, gave us, you know, as a, an incentive trip earner. And I hardly got to play with it. So I'm glad that it's back. This is probably one of my most favorite things in the whole catalog. This whole suite, um, the heartwarming hugs. Um, oh, and I meant to grab, I was going to show you. Okay, well, I'll do that in a little while. I want to show you the difference in sizes with these cups. Um, because if you've been paper crafting for a while, you might have seen in years past, we order little coffee cups from restaurant supply stores. Um, but these are a different size and I want to be sure to show you. But this whole suite of products is beautiful. I really love the paper. And I think I'll stop there and talk a little bit about the paper too. Um, this catalog has a ton of paper. This is one of my favorites in the catalog because it's simple patterns. I like small, simple patterns when I'm making cards and stuff. Um, but if you look back here on page 79, you'll see all the new paper. We have a ton of paper in this catalog um, and there's a lot of specialty paper. Um, my paper share, look how thick it is. It's very thick. If you get a paper share from me, it's gonna come like this in a cello bag. You can get um, six by 12 or six by six. Now six by six means all your sheets are six by six. Six by 12 means that all the sheets that come 12 by 12, you're getting half a sheet. And then you're getting the six, the full size six by six sheets. That doesn't make sense. But you know what I'm saying? This, these, these papers, these three papers only come in six by six. These come in six by 12. Some people just want a six by six of all of it. Some people maybe who scrapbook or who want more want a six by 12 of the big ones. And of course they want samples of the six by six as well. So those are the two options. I'm only gonna keep the paper and ribbon shares open for two weeks. Um, I have a ton going on this month and it's the only way I'm gonna be able to get it done is to just do it for a couple of weeks. So if you want to um, be part of that ribbon or uh, paper and ribbon share, then make sure you don't miss that deadline, okay? All right, let me make room so that I can show you the paper as we go. Okay, so this is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. It's the perfect little look, so cute, houndstooth. It's the perfect little, um, little, simple patterns. Well, I mean, maybe I wouldn't call that simple, but it's not these, you know, sometimes the papers have such big images, it's hard to, to cut it down for a card, but these are perfect, especially for mass producing. There's my favorite gingham, um, real red, garden green, classic, um, stamping up colors. I mean, uh, Christmas colors, classic Christmas colors. Okay. All right. So there's that. Um, the ribbon that goes with this suite is probably my favorite ribbon in the whole catalog. It's lit, braided linen trim, but it's real red. And you guys know my, I'm obsessed with <laughs> a baker's twine and they took all of our baker's twine away. So this one um, will suffice and I will probably be using this on everything. So love that. All right, so I'm gonna come back and spend some more time on that when we're done because I'm gonna make a project. There's two stamp sets that go with it, the dies, and I'm gonna show you the coffee carrier. Um, as we go through, I'm gonna point out the embellishments mostly because I know my eye always goes to the stamp set and I, I'm sure y'all's probably do too and you might miss some of the embellishments, okay? Um, the, the bow builder punch is really neat. I like that one. Here's for all the poinsettia. Uh, fans. I know some people last year were disappointed there was no poinsettia in the catalog. So here it is. You have a whole suite. And here is, 
right here, these little beaded pearls, you'll see them in the middle of these flowers. They're really neat. Let me put one in my hand so you can see. Isn't that pretty? So that can be your flower center. Um, of course, you can use it for other things too, but they, I think it makes those flowers look really elegant. Okay, um, okay, let me show you this paper. There's two papers here in this suite, and one of them is really interesting. This one, I'm gonna just talk about that while I'm looking for the other one. I should have gotten these in order correctly. I don't know what that beeping is, that dinging. That's coming from over here. What is that? Is that my iPad? Let me get that out of here, hold on. All right, so this paper right here is flocked vellum. At least that's what I'm calling it. It's like vellum, but it has these beautiful flocked images. So that one's a scroll. This one is um, the poinsettia, and this is just kind of holly berries and leaves. So they come 12 by 12, but again, this is just me. I've cut it down for the paper share. And then here's the poinsettia place designer series paper really pretty again they've taken all of our greens and combined them oh i like that that print a lot um oh and there's a wood grain i hadn't even noticed that i like that too um they really they have done this several times with our greens put them in pattern paper all together and they look beautiful all right so there's that i know there's some of you out there who love the poinsettia um trisha says you can color them with the blends are you talking about the flower centers is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I noticed in the um, in the sample right here, they're yellow. Really cool. All right, so there's the stamps and the dies. Re a really big set. Um, I know some of you are going to absolutely love that. The f those of you who love flowers. Peaceful Nativity is adorable. Look at the little um, manger nativity. The, um, you know, just the die cuts. and oh, So cute. I'm going to love that one. Here's one of my favorites. And you guys, normally I have more um, samples to show you. But like I said, I haven't really spent a lot of time with this catalog. But I'm going to show you a couple of things. Um, Peace and Joy Bundle. I love this one because they're big words. Here's one of the projects we're going to make on Friday, at, on Friday's uh, Facebook Friday. Um, look at those words. Isn't that neat? They're die cut and stamped. This is kind of a pool like we did last week during Facebook Friday, remember? All right, so there's that. That's a bundle. And you guys make sure, I try to remember to point this out to you. When you buy a bundle, the stamps and the dies together, you save 10%, but you have to use the bundle number right here, okay? Don't enter the stamp set number and the die number because you won't save the 10%. Uh, make sure you enter that bundle number. Here's returning favorite, the um, Gleaming Christmas punch, uh, the ornament punch that goes with this stamp set. It was in the catalog last year, as well as that paper. And I went out today and I saved it last year and I pulled it out of my storage. Let me get it. I'm sure some of you already have it from last year. It's um, specialty paper, which means it has shine on it. This paper, if I remember correctly, was like sold out, <laughs> back order, the whole time last year. We had a hard time getting our hands on it. Um, so I'm really happy that they brought it back um, because I have a feeling that we'll have lots of inventory now since it's the second time around. All right, so there's that. This is another one of my favorite sets and I, ha I haven't ordered it. Um, it was not in my pre-order. The uh, fireplace, the fireside trimmings. I like how they've done a fall fireplace and a, just a cozy Christmas fireplace. It's really cute. And all the little, you know, the little accessories, you can stamp those and use those without even the fireplace. Sorry, I need to pull this back over here so I can see what you guys are saying. I put you guys on the back. I didn't see you. All right, so then, um, sweetest time. I just ordered that today. I like that. Um, one thing's really interesting with this bundle are these dies. Really interesting. Look at that. Um, really neat. I can't wait to play with that. That's very different. Um, but I like those candles too. All right. So make sure if you're going to get that, you use that bundle number. This one I love too, because you know how I feel about those triangle dies. This stamp set will go with those triangles, um, the triangle dies. 
And here's some more specialty paper. There's quite a bit of specialty paper in this catalog. And I'm gonna show it to you if I can find it. Well, did I not? I know I pulled it out. Oh, hmm, that's weird. Oh, here it is, here it is. Nope, that's the felt. All right, all right, well, let me look over here because I have it here. Real red and, what is it, shaded spruce? Let's see, uh, do, 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 do. Real red, red and green, it just says, so it's not specific stamping up colors, I guess. Yeah, green, red. Beautiful, hmm, so pretty. I prefer foil paper to glimmer paper. I don't know about you guys, but I like foil over glimmer. Just my own personal preference. All right, look at these guys. So cute. That reminds me of that movie. If you've seen it, that kid movie, Nomeo and Juliet. That's going to be a fun, that's going to be a fun Facebook Friday, I bet. In my mind, I'm thinking that looks like a Facebook Friday. And this one's cute too. <laughs> cute. Look at the melted um, frosty. Oh. Isn't that cute, cute. All right, now trimming the town. I do love, love, love the sweet too. This is paper. Now this paper is different somewhat than what I was saying in the beginning. This one does have really big patterns on some of it. Um, so it would be good for scrapbooking. Um, and the dies right here cut out the houses. Um, of course, they'll cut out the stamps too, but they'll cut out the houses. But then on the back side, you've got great, just simple patterns. And these um, words, I have had several people ask me about where did they get the sentiments on some of these cards, and it's from this paper. You can cut these out and uh, use them at your, as your sentiment. And the little trees, polka dots. I love polka dots. I'll use that piece a lot. Green, and then we've got ice skaters, little houses, and snowflakes. And then this is half of like a whole snowy scene. So if you use that whole 12 by 12 piece on a scrapbook page or a home decor, you know, a, a sampler or something, it's its own piece of art. It's very pretty. And then red, real red, or no, Poppy Parade. This is Poppy Parade. Um, and I just so happen to have projects with that because this is gonna be a class in, I believe, September. Um, so I'm trying to hold it. I'm really not wanting to show you all of it quite yet, but I think we'll just do a little sneaky peeky. If you like to color with your blends, you are gonna like that class. All right, so stay tuned. That will be coming in September. Okay, you guys know that I'm having issues with my device. This, this device will not stand. I need it to be tall and my in my case, will not stand tall. I'll get it figured out one of these days. Hmm, I need to get maybe like a, like a, you know, a, um, easel. Ugh. I can't figure out where to put it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get comfortable. I wanna be able to see what you guys are saying. Oh, Patty says, that melted snowman on a s'mores treat. That would be cute, very cute. The ribbon that goes with this, sweet. I think I've been skipping over these, but I'm not telling you all of them. But look, it's very pretty. It's very, very thin and it's got gold edge. I like, I like light ribbons because they don't bulk up your card. And this is a good one. So this comes as a pack, a two pack, and you've got Poppy Parade and Old Olive. And these are awesome too. These, all the trimmings, embellishments. I didn't pull those out, but those are really good. I love those. Or maybe do I have them in here? No, I don't. Okay, so again, here's that um, coming home bundle. We especially like the stamp set because my oldest daughter drives a black um, beetle. <laughs> she calls it her buggy. So I, I have a feeling I'm going to be using that stamp quite a bit too. Here's the moose. Do you guys remember the moose last year? The punch sold out pretty early before Christmas and it was gone. Well, it's back. So if you didn't get it last year, you can get it this year. Yuletide Pasture, cute. The Jingle Bells are from last year also. This is a great large uh, sentiment set if you like large sentiments. You know, the thing about a large sentiment is that it can be your focal point for your card. And you don't have to do a whole lot more when you use a large uh, sentiment. So I like that set for that. Now I, I'm seeing something else I didn't pull out. 
those those um, felt sheets on the next page. Do you see? Or no, on that page right there, festive felt sheets combo pack. And so I've played a little bit with them. You can see I die cut it, a die, um, you know, our dies cut through it. So you get these four sheets with that. So that's fun. Something a little bit different. Snowflake adhesive backed adhesive back snowflakes. They're tiny. I like them. All right. Um, Wonder of the season. Now this one, I have to tell you guys, um, <laughs> I'm in the middle of prepping a big event for my team um, that's next week. And I have used almost every single inch of this paper that I could order two packs and I cut up almost all of it, but I have a little bit of it left. Um, and you can see one side has that metallic shine in it and it's like newsprint newspaper and then the other side is just plain you know like not metallic newsprint I love book print newsprint paper so you'll be seeing that a lot from me there's more than four sheets but like I said I've already cut it all up um this ribbon let me show you this ribbon this has to be shaded spruce yeah really thick nice ribbon look it's gonna make a beautiful um bow on um you know gifts really nice and then it comes in a combo pack with this gold um oh what do you call it not rope but um cord cord and so this would be good if you had um tied this on and then see that's exactly what they did they used this to tie the tag onto the bow so that's a really good combo those two go really well together now also this paper that comes in this suite is six by six. <clears throat> so let me find it. Where is it? Right here. All right, so six by six, and it is cherry cobbler, garden green, real red, and shaded spruce. And of course, black and white. This is good too, those simple prints, monochromatic prints. Hey Emma, you can take that upstairs if you want. Um, that's okay, but if you want to go upstairs, that's, that's fine. See, isn't that nice? Oh, that doesn't go with it. All right, so just know that that paper six by six. I also want to show you, um, the memories and more cards that go with this suite. Honestly, I haven't even opened mine yet. It says double-sided cards for card fronts or scrapbooks. All right, so you get a whole bunch of them, 48 cards, and they're, um, sized, so that you can make cards and you can use our memory and more card bases and then just slap them on there and easy peasy, right? And then you've got sticker sheets, okay? Love sticker sheets. Just makes card making and scrapbooking so simple, okay? So there's those, so how many of each? One, two, three, four, five, six. So <clears throat> if you're going to make your Christmas cards using these, you'll have six of that one and then six of this one. I like those bells. That's nice. And you'll have six of this one. Celebrate the season and some holly. Oh, good. More sticker sheets. These are fun for kids too. I can see, you know, my kids just sitting and making cards with these. And then these are not double-sided because they're that shiny foil. Oh, that's very pretty, pretty. Merry Christmas, big word art. We wish you a wonderful Christmas. Very nice, ooh, I like that. Oh, one more, ooh, fancy. All right, so that's the memory and more cards. Pack, what's it called? I've got to learn the names. Wonder of the season, oh. I didn't even notice. Wonder of the season memories and more cards and envelopes. They have Christmas ones. See, every time I look at this catalog, I see something I did not see the first 20 times I looked at it. And then the embellishments right here are these wonderful gems. They're neat. They almost look like um like a snow globe. Like they look like they have, like you could shake them up and there's they would shake, but they don't. <laughs> they look like they do, but they don't. All right, and so there's even a stamp set here that is hardly even noticeable because everything else is so beautiful. Here it is right here. It's got that deer 
die. That's really neat. Mm, I'm going to have to get that one. Here are the bells. like these a lot. There's a card in the back made with that. I'm, I need to point it out to you guys so you can see it. Joyful Holly. Now, here's this paper. <laughs> if you guys know me, I was somewhat obsessed with this paper last year. So here it is. Can you tell why I'm obsessed with it? Because it has my favorite buffalo check. Um, one side is real red. The other side is garden green. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, right? Yeah, okay. Then there's tall stripes. Just really good patterns. Love it, love it, love it. Used it a ton. Still have lots left. I went and pulled it out of my storage. And I'm so happy that it is back. Um, for Unto Us, these are beautiful sentiments. Here, you know what? Here's something I didn't notice either. That Evergreen Frost 3D embossing folder. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Now, here's a Snowflake Sweet Splendor. Snowflakes. Say that five times. Snowflake Splendor Sweet. And those of you that like non-traditional colors, you're going to really like this. Um, I don't like non-traditional colors when it comes to Christmas. But I do really like this. It's beautiful. This color palette is gorgeous. So let's look at it. It's watercolor. Ooh. So it's hand painted. What are the colors? Let's see. We can look right here and see what the colors are. Highland Heather, Pool Party. Oh, I like that one too. Coastal Cabana, Balmy Blue, Pacific Point, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy. So here they have taken all of our blues and combine them. That always amazes me how they do that. Oh, I love that one. All right, so that's that uh, Snowflake Splendor. Here's the ribbon that goes with it. Okay, Snowflake Splendor ribbon. Um, they gave us a heads up that this might go on back order. So if you want it, if you need it soon, make sure you get it on your first order. Um, okay, now this is beautiful. And I, I need to pull that design sheet paper back over here so you can see. Look at that with that, that glimmer. Balmy blue. Where's that piece I like? Oh, yeah. I really, really like this a lot. And then the blue gems. Blue adhesive back gems. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. This is one of your favorites, Les. Yeah, mine too. It's very pretty. Okay, next page. Envelope dies. I think I've only seen that one time. I forgot about those. I need to get those. Those are awesome. My friend Terry, I don't know if she's on here. She loves to line her envelopes. She lines all her envelopes and they're beautiful. So I'm sure she's going to like that too. Um, this thing right here is really neat. And I don't know if that will appeal to, um, to customers that aren't demonstrators. It's a card display. But you know what? I take that back because I display my Christmas cards I get every year in my house. So this would be a great way to do that. Um, it's really big. It's 18 by 12 and then it opens up and it comes with these clips. So if you're looking for a way to display your Christmas cards at Christmas, here you go. It's really neat. It's uh, much bigger than I thought it was. All right, what's next? <laughs> These guys, super cute, warm and toasty. This paper right here is making a return. It is uh, feels like frost. And I think this stuff sold out last year too. It's specialty paper because it has that shine on it. And then the other side is photographic. And I don't know if this is all the pieces. I think it is, because I pulled this out of storage too. Look at that. Oh, I don't think I used this last year but it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. In the Pines, I have designed a bunch of things with this, but I don't think I can show them to you yet. It's for my downline training. You'll see them soon, I promise. All right, so that's awesome. Great dies, really good dies. In fact, what are we doing? Oh, today, we're using that today. Today, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I need to get a move on. My girls, I told them to go to Sonic afterwards and I told them I'd be done by three. I don't think that's gonna happen. Gilded Autumn. Here it is. I love fall projects and fall paper. I love, love, love that one. This one is specialty paper because it has that shine on it. That embossed gold. Is it gold? What does it tell us? Um, copper foil, gold foil. So they're different. Um, so that's really pretty. 
So then there's specialty paper that goes with that. And I love this. I have used almost every inch of this. This is all I have right here for this share sample that I could show you. Brushed metallic cardstock. You're gonna get two each of three colors, bronze, copper, and gold. And I think I have two golds here, bronze, copper, and gold. You'll get 12 by 12, two of each. And it's foil, but it's like it has that dragged texture. We used that last Friday also. I do, do love it very much. And then the little acorns right here, very cute, very, very cute. And then the ribbon, let me show you the ribbon, mint macaron. This is a nice um, thick ribbon. This would make good um, gift wrap or treat ribbon, you know, um, for your treat packages. Very pretty. And the other one that goes with this, we use this on Friday as well. Look, this is all I have left. <laughs> Basket weave, and this is the metallic ribbon. And it goes really well with that brushed metallic paper. All right, next. Um, this is a fun set if you like punches. We've got three new fall punches. This is a returning favorite from last year. You may have gotten this one last year. I used the heck out of these embossed uh, leaves that die cuts and embosses them at the same time. This one is interesting. I've ordered it, but I don't have it. I like the dies a lot. Look at that edgelet. This, I'm gonna have to see how, how difficult that is to color. That's beautiful. Oh, I like here how they've stamped it just and not colored it. So you don't necessarily have to color it. Here is a Million Dollar Achiever stamp set. This is Leanne Greff's stamp set. Really cute. Really, really cute. Gold cards and envelopes. And the Halloween stuff. You guys, I love Halloween stuff. And this year's paper is interesting. It's very dark and I like it. <laughs> Look at that. It's really neat. Got these cool bats and the dye matches those bats. That's pretty, very pretty. Just kind of gothic, right? Mm, pretty, pretty. And then these go with it, iridescent pearls. Very pretty. And then, oh my gosh, you've got to see the ribbon. The metallic mesh ribbon. It's like a spider web or something. Look at it. Can you see it? Can you guys see it? It is awesome, awesome. And there's the 3D, the cobwebs, 3D embossing folder too, and I do have that for sure. Oh, and then, hello, black glimmer. It's very light too. I think it's gonna go well on paper, like on cards and stuff when you cut it. Really nice. All right, let's see, let's see. Here's the stamp set and the dies. I like this label that goes with that. Here's a cute, uh, Halloween stamp set, ghoulish goodies. These tens, here is the size of the 10. I think it's very similar to an Altoid 10 size. Don't you think, those of you that have it? Those are fun. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, this paper. You guys know I've already talked about this paper. It comes in six by six and it is a plaid for every season and every reason. <laughs> you will love it. Um, masculine plaids, fall plaids, Christmas plaids. Um, this is, you know, pink. It's so really, I mean, any kind of plaid, that one too, Valentine's, one that we keep for Valentine's. This will go far. Um, they've warned us that this could go on back order too. Hopefully it's not already on back order. Um, I ordered a bunch of it very early this morning. I like the black and white. Oh, I like that one too. Um, so these, um, this, the, these dies right here is also this, what we're going to make on Friday. Um, and I'll talk to you about those on Friday. It's a bag topper, but you, as you can see, lots of other ways to use it. The ribbon is called embroidered ribbon. Is that right? Yeah. Embroidered ribbon. And it's kind of um, like a muslin or a, it's very light, just a neutral. It's good. It'll, it'll uh, get lots of use, I'm sure. And the stamps that go with it are fun. Um, if you guys have been around a while with Stamping Up, you know, we used to have the, what was it called? Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Top note die, isn't that what it was called? Very similar to that. That's what it reminds me of. And we used to do that with it. We'd fold it over a bag and make a tag to a, a bag topper. Cute little 
Flight of Fancy, a witch, an angel, and a cherub. Cute. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Um, this one called Turnovers, which means you stamp one side and you turn the stamp over and use the back side for the solid part. Um, they, they coordinate with, what does it say? The Heart Punch Pack in the annual catalog. All right. Um, I'm just looking at the samples and look, I didn't notice those either. Mosaic, gusseted cellophane bags. I haven't even ordered those. And you guys know I love bags and boxes. Didn't even notice them. Here's the stamps that I'm giving away today. The punch that it coordinates with is the essential, I'm out of the frame, essential tag top, essential tag punch. As you can see, they go well with that, but they can also go well without it too. Here's a fun set, have a hoot, the little owls. Very cute, great die set too. There's a spider web and some tags. This one is festive post. It goes with that postage, st um, postage stamp punch in the annual catalog. Look, that, see, oh look, they did use that plaid for Valentine's Day. Here's the red velvet paper. Very pretty, Valentine's and Christmas. That would be perfect for that. Um, let's see, I think I've shown you all the paper. Here's one, uh, this is a Million Dollar Achievers stamp set to Susie Wood, and this matches our jar punch. Don't you love when they come out with another stamp set that coordinates with our dies or our punch? Love it. These are returning from last year, the snowflake sequins. Everybody loved those. This one is a great little set, banner year. It's got everything you need. Halloween, fall, Christmas, and Valentine's Day. So really, really good. And it's got, this is a punch that I kept saying I was using on Friday when I actually, I was using the one in the annual catalog, but that's it. Banners pick a punch. It makes a banner in and a pointy end. All right. Thanks, Janie. Here is the festive corners. That's fun. This sequins for everything. You know what? I have that right here. Let me pull that out. I couldn't wait to see what these look like. These are great for shakers. Look how they divided them in this little thing. Really neat. Hmm. That, and that, that'll go a long way. That is a lot of sequins. This stamp set is so cute right here. Uh, Menagerie mix up. Look at all those dies. Um, and the, the paper that the, the dies come on, it has the lines where you can, or it has the, the shape of the die on the paper so that you, when you put them back, you know you're, if you're missing anything. I really like that. But you can make all these cute little critters. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Here's another coffee set. We love coffee sets, don't we? Joyce Ferraco, that's her, her set. And I made something briefly and it's not done. But look, I was making a little, and this is old paper. I have, I have a drawer of old candy that my kids know don't eat it because it's old <laughs> that's where these are from so this is from I don't know a long time ago but anyway I was making a uh, nugget holder for for this but it needs some work so coming soon coming soon um did I pass over that stamp set I, did I miss some pages what the world what the heck there was a stamp set that I went right over where did it go? I think I skipped, oh my gosh, I skipped this page, didn't I? Yeah, okay, because I want to show you, this is the card that we're, nope, 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 that's not it. This is a card that we're making on Friday for Facebook Friday. I love this set so much. I love that fence die. So this is what we're going to make on Friday, okay? Make sure you come back. And then these stitched leaves, I've used them a ton already. They are one of my favorite things in the catalog. All right, where was I? We're almost to the end. My kids are going to be so mad. All right, here's this tin. I wanted to show you this tin right here. It's bigger than the other one, and it has a see-through lid, okay? These cuties, freeze and fun. I do have a card. I did make, oh, wait, I made a stitched leaf card, too. Forgot to show you. Look at that die right there. It, that comes with it, those little, like, lines falling down. It's really pretty. And then this one is so cute. These freeze and fun little guys with the dies. And then it has this stitched, I kind of cased a card, this one right here. And it has that stitched edge oh, right there. Really, really fun, really, really fun. Okay, last but not least, this right here. We're gonna make this on Friday as well. This little holder, 
okay? It's called Little Treat Box Die, and it's super easy to put together, so you'll like it, all right? All right, so that's that. I wanted to point out, when you get to the back, it has all the bundles together with another example of how to use it, okay? The bells, I wanted to show you. Look at that, isn't that pretty with the pinks? So make sure you look back through here. When you are looking for a bundle real quick, if you're gonna order it, instead of paging through all the catalogs, uh, you can uh, come here to the back and find it much faster. And then we have the awesome index, so helpful everything here so you don't have to flip through because it's a really long catalog. Um, hostess set, you can get that with stamp and rewards when you spend over $150. And the starter kit, I wanted to mention, I posted about it earlier, the new cut and emboss machine, um, which hasn't been available yet. Uh, demonstrators can order it today, starting today as a pre-order. Um, customers will, will be able to order it um, in September, but if you're like me and your die cut machine is on its last leg and you can't wait till then, you can buy the starter kit and get this in your starter kit, okay? And the starter kit is $99. You pick out $125 product of your choice and you get free shipping. So it's a pretty good deal if you ask me. I just want to make sure I reminded you guys of that. Um, okay, let me, let me just point this out real quick. Paper shares, now my paper share is a giant mess. I had it all nice and neat, and now I can't show it to you because I made it a big mess. Um, so you have two weeks to register for, here, I'm, I'm getting it. Hold on, hold on. You have two weeks to register for the paper share, and yours will be nice and neat, not like this. Come on. Okay, so there's paper share. Ribbon, you'll get all of these ribbons for $16. You get a yard of each. Um, and then paper, you can either get six by 12 or six by six. Look, that's a lot. And if you get both paper and ribbon, you're going to get, um, those, all my, oh, here they are. I got to pull them out because I can't remember the name. All the trimmings, embellishment. You'll get one of these for free if you get both ribbon and paper. Two weeks. Okay. Okay. Now, I think we're ready to stamp. Let's stamp. Let me show you what we're going to do. So this is what I was showing you in the catalog that I love so much, that heart. Now, you guys, it is going to take me months to learn all the names. It always does. Heart warming hugs. And this thing is this mini coffee carrier right here, and it holds two coffee cups. Um, you can put candy in them. You could put K-cups. You could put um, hot chocolate mix, whatever you want. Um, the, there's two stamp sets that go with this, this one, which is what we're going to use today, warm hugs and wrapped in Christmas. And then there's one die set right here and it coordinates with both of them. Okay. And these little guys right here, I didn't show you these little embellishments that go with this suite. Very cute. Whoa. And I need to show you the coffee cup. Okay, man, I had one sitting out here too. What did I do with it? Is it over here? All right, hold please. I'm gonna grab that little coffee cup really quick because you guys need to see it. Luckily, I know exactly where they are. All right, so in years past, we would order these little tiny coffee cups from the restaurant supply store. And they look like this. Well, let me show you the size difference because it's a significant size difference, right? So I wouldn't say this is quite the size of a, of a small coffee. I don't know. Guys, I'm not a coffee drinker. You tell me. Do you think that's the size of a small coffee? I think maybe it's a little bit smaller, okay? But they come um, just like this. And the reason I'm showing them, showing them to you today is because I can't really do these in a class to go or Facebook Friday. How would I send that to you? I couldn't. So if you want these, you're going to need to add them to your order. And my gut tells me that these are going to be very popular. So if you want them, get them, right? Get them sooner than later. I don't know any inside information, so don't say Erica said they're going to sell out because I'm not saying that. I'm just saying <laughs> they could, or they could be on back order for a while, okay? I have no idea. I have no idea stamping up how much they've ordered. I don't know. But if you want them, get them. Okay, I'm trying to make 
some space here because I've got a giant mess. All right, let's do, let's cover the coffee cup first, okay? So my downline, Deborah Harrison, shared this template with our team. Um, she took the cup, cut it, you cut off the top and the bottom, and you, she laid it out and traced this. And I'm gonna make sure I have her permission and I will share it with you guys. I'm, Deborah's wonderful, I'm sure she'll be happy to let me share that, but I just wanted to let you know that when you see it, it's her, it came from her. And so I've traced that onto my designer series paper with a pencil and uh, cut it out. So we've got that. And let's see, I've got tons of little pieces. I've got to make sure I don't get all of this mixed up. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you these dies. They're very interesting and you're going to want to play with them. These dies right here are the... Um, little sleeve, you know, that goes on your coffee cup. This right here. Okay, so I'm going to, there's Nathan. Nathan is Deborah's downline. Nathan says I'm sure she would. She's very generous. I think she would. So there's two different, you can put these little dot, dot, dots, or these little dot, dot, dots. <laughs> I'm going to use these little dot, dot, dots right here, okay? You're also going to need to cut um, four of these. So two of these and two of these for each cup, okay? So let's bring over the Big Shot. This is hopefully the last time you see me use my ratty Big Shot because my new cut and emboss machine should be here tomorrow. I paid overnight shipping. That's how much I want it. All right, so if my magnet base will behave, you put these little dot, dot, dots, dot dot dots right there and run it through and then we're going to do another one because one is not long enough to go around a cup so we got to do two okay oops that was kind of low oh well all about the treats right not the perfection of the project the recipient I don't think they're gonna care all right so now we've got that and you you're gonna have all these little dots everywhere so just be prepared all right now ahead of time because I knew that I would talk too much today I went ahead and cut out two each of the little scalloped edges and we're gonna adhere those and let them sit for a while. I'm gonna to use Tombow. Okay. I'm gonna turn them over to the back and I'm gonna put just a really thin line above, whoops, not that thin, um, above and below my dots. And the longer one goes on top like that, whoa, like that. Oh, you didn't see that. Pretend like you didn't see me do that. And then this one's gonna go right there, okay? Isn't that cute? All right, come on. Now, stay, okay, let's do it again. This one over here. The girls were going to Sonic because we saw a commercial is Patty still here? We saw a commercial that they have s'more, toasted s'more sh milkshakes. And my poor kids have just been, I did it again. Look at that. I did that again. Um, they've just been here doing nothing all summer. So I'm like, let's go. Let's go get a milkshake. I'm going to try to resist and not get anything. We'll see how well I do. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> Come on, glue. Oh no, we still need it, hold on, hold on. We're gonna take the glue and we're gonna glue this end to end right here, okay? All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna set it down and let it dry for a little while. I need to put something heavy on it. All right, now while we're waiting, let's put this on our coffee cup. Hey everybody, I have been totally neglecting your comments because I'm just trying to 
be done. Well, I'm not going to be done on time. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, so make it like a rainbow when you put it on, okay? And I like to start in the center because if I start on the end, I'm way off. And then I'm going to wrap it around and wiggle it. Any, any wiggle that needs to be made can be made there at the end, okay? So I use my Seal Plus on there. And in a minute, we'll, once that's dry, we'll put that on there as well. Now let's make the little thing for the top. I've done some of it ahead of time. I used this die right here to cut that out. And I used this die to cut out some of the DSP. And I think I want to flip that over. I think I'm going to use that side, okay? So we'll put that flat. Now let's get our Whisper White, and I don't want to use this one. This is for my tag, and that's not it. Good thing my white, my Whisper White scrap drawer is right here. All right, we're gonna stamp. There's three different options here, and I like all three. For you, this one's on me, Merry Christmas, and warm hugs to you all season long. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? They're all good. So we're gonna stamp this in real red. Mm, let's try it again. We're going to stamp this in real red. <laughs> okay. Hold please. Let's try one more time. We're going to stamp this in real red on Whisper White. You'd think by now I would learn to keep, uh, there we go. Yay, third time's a charm. I would learn to keep one of my foam um, foam sh sheets over here. I don't have that problem on the other side of the room when I stamp. It's only when I come over here. Okay, let's cut this out. Now this one is this weird looking die right here because it's going to cut out that center space, which is really cool. Okay. Oh, everybody always asks me about this holder. Um, I actually have two different ones. Um, someone bought one for me on Etsy, one of my downline. And then another one of my downline, this one she made on her 3D printer. So you can look on Etsy, you'll find those. And maybe on eBay too. All right, so mini glue dots. Do we have mini glue dots anywhere in the vicinity? All the way over here. I'm going to use these mini glue dots right here. <laughs> Carla's struggle bus. You know, 2020 is the year of the struggle bus, unfortunately. Just one thing after another. Try not to let it get to me. You know, you know what I've realized I need to stop doing, you guys, is reading the comments on anything on Facebook. <laughs> you know, like I'll read a news story and then I'll say, okay, well, let me see what the comments, what do people say in the comments? Because sometimes you can find out good information in the comments. You'll find out even more that may not be as um, biased or swayed as the news story. <sighs> These days, reading the comments is dangerous. People are awful, 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 awful. So, I realized this morning as I was laying in bed, scrolling, I was like, okay, Erica, you know, I can't fully step away from Facebook, obviously, but I need to step away from reading comments. <laughs> I think that's just making things worse for me. Okay, so now here's the deal with this. You're going to need a lot of adhesive on this one. And I've seen mine are popping off already, and I think um, it's super hot and humid here, but I think... The Tombow might, might work better with this, depending on your climate. But today, we're just going to do this. We're going to wrap it around, okay, like the rainbow, That not this way. Could you do it that way? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do it this way. I'm not going to try it because I already put all that adhesive on there. And wrap it. Give yourself a little wiggle room and match them up right there. How cute is that? All right, and for the sake of the video, I already have one done, but see, it's coming undone. I gotta figure something out with that. I didn't say what I did here. That's a little 
Christmas tree from the designer series paper. And I use these dies that I'm using right here to cut that out, okay? So we have two of these. This one's gonna need a little something here on the end. Maybe I need to put my seal plus all the way across like that. I bet that will help. All right, now let's make the holder. And what I love about these is that you just pop them up. Cindy, never read the comments. Gosh, I mean, it's the truth these days, right? Whew. The comment section is a scary place. It is a scary place. Okay, so this is like what you get at Starbucks, except they're made um, specifically for these little coffee cups, whatever size they are. And I'm gonna put down this side first. All right, and then these, and then this one. And there you have it, okay? You put your little cups in there, so cute. Now, I have ahead of time, tomorrow I'll post this on my blog and I'll have all the measurements for you tomorrow, okay? Um, usually I have this ready to go for you, but not today. Not today, it has been crazy town around here trying to get ready for this big event we're doing next week with our teams. Okay, so here's that same designer series paper though oh i still why can't i remember the name warm hugs what's it called what's the paper called heartwarming <laughs> heart warm hugs why is it so hard for me to remember these things now i'm gonna have to look who knows where the catalog went it's gone nope here it is because i want you to know because if you love it you need to order it it is called Heartwarming Hugs. Heartwarming Hugs. All right, so I I put those. Well, hello, Mac. Are you coming in to say hello? Oh, he's looking at my candy cabinet. I left it open. I um, He came in here last Friday trying to get things out of the trash, too. He's a naughty boy. Um, I put these on real red cardstock. And I'm going to put them on all four sides. And then we're going to make a tag and just tie the tag on. All right. Whoops. Good thing there's no coffee in there. All right. So there we go. Still having an issue, guys, with my adhesive. Hmm. Hot glue gun may need to come out for that. All right. So there you go cute right and we have lots of paper choices just think about that snowflake paper that we were looking at those blues and purples that would be very cute as well all right for the tag we're gonna do this Christmas tree in the pines the pine tree we used it on Friday um, and I'm gonna use my adhesive sheet which you guys know I love my adhesive sheets okay to cut out this overlapping, come on, this overlapping tree right here, this one, okay? And then you need the solid one also. So, one more time with the big shot. And actually, we're gonna need to cut out a star too. All right, so the side that has the adhesive. First thing I'm gonna do is get this and make sure I get all that poked out. Do I have my take your pick tool? Yes, but it has the wrong end on it. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. The last tree I did was white. Can you tell? All right, so I'm gonna do this. This is, it has adhesive backing. While I'm running that through, oh, come on, Erica. Get it together. There we go. I'm gonna also cut out a solid one. These are garden green. Okay. Run it through. Heartwarming hugs, you guys were all telling me. See, that's the thing about this is there's a big delay on Facebook Live. I would have to wait like 15 whole seconds <laughs> to see your comments. Okay, so see how that cut all the holes, but it didn't have a cutting edge. Okay, so that would be pretty in itself if you just had a rectangle. I don't know what that is. Something weird on my paper. Um... And then you would pull out all the little doodads. But I want it to be the same size and shape as that solid tree. So I'm going to line the outline die. 
around it, if I can get it lined up, like this. Let's go through twice because there's adhesive on the back. And now we're gonna peel that off. You know what, while we're here, let's cut the stars so I don't have to bring this. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring it back in a minute anyway. Oh, we'll just wait because I have to stamp that thing, I forgot. Okay, well, let's make the tree. If I had thought ahead, I could do it all at the same time, but I didn't think ahead. All right, so I'm gonna peel this and all these little doodads, I would love for them to stick to that back paper, but I don't think they're going to. So I'm gonna have to poke them out and the, instead of poking them out, I'm just gonna take my finger and let them stick to my finger in the back. Okay. See that, see that? And now of course they're all stuck to my finger but that's okay. All right, now let's stick it to this. Starting here at the bottom and going up to the top. That would be really hard to glue on without that adhesive sheet, right? Pretty cool, huh? I love it. I've done this tree like five times like this, I love, love, love it. Okay, so now we've got this, we've got that, we need to, this is our tag, we're gonna use the tag topper punch, this one's from the annual catalog. Cut that top of the tag. Um, where did I put that piece of Whisper White? Here it is, right here. We're just gonna stamp the same one. On my first one, I stamped all three of the little circles all three of the little sentiments, so they would all be different. All right, and then we're gonna do the coffee cut stamp because it's so stinking cute. I'm gonna do it in soft suede, and then I'm gonna take the inside in soft suede, and I'm gonna stamp off, and then stamp it in the center. Okay, so it's a little bit lighter. And now we can bring that big shot over one last time. My daughter, I said, I told you guys at the beginning, my youngest is on Zoom with her orchestra. She's playing orchestra violin in sixth grade. She's gonna be in sixth grade, which here is middle school. And so they had their little, they were supposed to have their orchestra camp this week where they go to the school for a few hours every day and, you know, play their instruments. And of course, because it's 2020 and COVID, they couldn't do it. So they've been doing it via Zoom which is really neat. She was very excited. She hasn't played her violin all summer. I heard her up there yesterday practicing away. Kind of feel sorry for her having to start sixth grade this way, but you know what? Lots of people are doing it. Lots of, lots of things not happening like they should be happening. That's for sure. All right, let's put our tag together, shall we? I've cut a little piece of DSP, one inch by two. We're gonna put that there. And it looks like it's a little bit long, so let's trim that off. All right, now we're gonna take the tree and put that there. I'm going to take this and adhere it to just a solid red circle. It's an inch and a half circle which we don't have, the, oh my goodness, Carla, did you see that? Struggle bus, for sure. Um, we don't have the one and a half inch cir circle punch anymore, and I just can't stop using it. It's retired, unfortunately, but I'm sure lots of you have circle punches that you could use for this. All right, so sit down there, please, and do not pop up again. And <laughs> I am going to pretend like my coffee cup cut out straight, and you guys are gonna pretend like it did too. We're not gonna mention that it slipped and it's crooked. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep moving on. We're not going to acknowledge it. And a dimensional here, <laughs> and a dimensional there, and we'll put that right there, and then, come on, glue. Work with me, Work. there we go. That's the kind of dot I wanted before. And 
a gold foil star. Okay, so there's our tag. You know, I think that needs to be a little bit higher, don't you? Like that. Warm hugs all season long. And then we're just gonna tie it on with this beautiful real red taffeta. Uh, that doesn't feel right. Sheer, not taffeta, sheer. Sheer ribbon. And you just tie that on and call it a day. You're done. So these little coffee cup um, sleeves are not simple. I'm going to tell you that right now. They are quite a few steps, but they're worth it. They're so cute. And I was going to do it with a felt, um, the real red felt, and it did cut out, but then I changed my mind. And I just decided to do cardstock because then I didn't ha wouldn't have enough felt to do another one, blah, blah, blah. That's why. All right, and there it is. So, in summary, make sure you order the cups and the holder if you want them because I don't know, I'm just worried that they're gonna be super popular, right? You know what happens when something's super popular. All right, I don't like the way that you're hanging there, buddy. You need to come over this way. There we go. All right, you guys. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. I want to remind you that Friday we'll be making three projects. Host code is right here. If you want to put in an order for some new goodies, anything you want to order, as long as it is a $35 minimum order, um, after you use your bonus bucks, guys, remember that if you subtract, if you put in a $50 order and you put in $30 in bonus bucks, then the order is only $20. So your order subtotal has to be $35, um, to get the make and takes for free. This is what we're going to make on Friday. So anytime between today and next Monday at midnight orders using this host code, I will cut and mail you these super cute projects next week okay so make sure you come back on friday two o'clock same time and i will have three new things to show you and the new die cut machine okay all right you guys i have ignored your comments i've got to figure out how to put this up so i can see it i will come back and uh make sure i didn't miss anything important thank you for the shares you guys um, if you share, that enters you into the drawing for um, the, the door prize. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you on Friday, okay? Have a great week. Bye, everybody.